Why did you cast against type? I mean, we are used to seeing Judy as the, I mean, often, not always, yeah. kind of the dits, you know, the funny dits, and we're used to seeing Natasha as like the gritty, don't fuck with me, kind of. We can say fuck here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they're, the kids are watching cartoons on a different live stream oh, yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, I think I had worked with Natasha when she played Megan in But I'm a Cheerleader, and she kind of played a version of me, which is like a sweet Midwestern. Aww. And uh, <laughs> the thing that Natasha brings to that is, I think, especially in my, just living my life as a sweet Midwestern, there's like a lot of darkness underneath it because you're basically seeking out darkness because you can't like have it inside of yourself because you're afraid of it. So I don't know. Natasha to me brings that perfect balance to the sweet enabler. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the, Shan the Shannon character, I just wanted to make sure to cast someone who wasn't totally hateable because um, I think she ultimately is a really good person. She's just in a lot of pain. And the thing that Judy brings is she just has like a brightness to her that no matter how many times she's mean and horrible and awful and kills people, um, you just can't, you can't hate her. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> So that's I mean I, I, I actually completely see what you're what you're saying about Judy and I so tell us about how what it was like working together have you guys ever worked together before you have to share the mic sorry oh. it's uh, yeah it's scrappy South by oh um, we have not worked together did you know each other no but I, I actually did think that um, Judy had dated one of my ex-boyfriends totally and it. It, Oh, go ahead. No, I was actually going to say it, that. It, it was so crazy to find out that I didn't. Yeah, but then when I found out that she didn't, I was like, oh my God, I'm such a huge fan. I always have been. And I've been keeping it pushed down all these years because, mind you, it was like long after we'd broken up, but still it was in my head. And <laughs> did, so did you never like clear the air on that one? It yeah, was but just, you had like such a moment when you were like, "Wait, you didn't date him," and then it came back up like so an confused. hour later, and you were like, "Yeah, you seriously? Because I've been living my life for so many years." Just because whenever I would see Judy Greer and somebody, I'd be like, "Oh well, she's the one that went out with my fucking boyfriend, isn't she?" Yeah. Uh, well, good for her. Well, she's fucking amazing, so good for him too. <laughs> but then after that, it was a real. Um, I'm a huge Judy Greer fan. Now for, you are. Uh, no, I, before that as well. I mean, I think it's uh, you know undeniable and and just extraordinary working with her. I just have so much uh, respect. It was actually, I would say, intimidating because it's just she's so so good. I mean, you're so good that it's it's very intense too. And on top of that, like being this kind of like a decent human being is really too much. <laughs> I was excited to work with Natasha for similar reasons. I've been a huge fan forever. I even am going to start talking like you. Am I doing it good? Yeah, you're doing it good. Okay. Um, I know one I've, joke has your phone festival <laughs> away. I, uh, I've been a huge fan of Natasha's forever, and I just loved her. I love her energy, and I've always wanted to work with her. I felt like we would really complement each other well. And playing sisters is a little too good to be true. I know. We, we really had like an excessively good time. It Once we had all our little rhythms, and we were just up in the middle of yeah. some Nowheresville motel most oh of the God. time. We got in a lot yeah. of trouble for... Yeah fucking around too much. Yeah, there was a lot of, stop it, stop! Yeah. That's Girls, girls, yeah, focus! Because, <laughs> you know, 